pay you. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how this has made its way back into my box of snuff, but it has. Um, so I thought that I would go against my snuff reviewing for a moment, for one video, and review something else. This. Oliver Twist. This is a chewing tobacco. Now, I've never used a chewing tobacco before. This um, was mm, upside down. And the wrong way around. I don't understand. This camera's hurting my face. Anyway, this was um, given to me by my local tobacconist um, when I was last down there buying snuff. Um, I was actually inquiring whilst I was there about um, snus, which again I've not used. Um, might do at some point if I can. Yeah, might do at some point, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, my, my, my tobacconist gave me this as a free sample when I was last there buying um, stuff. Now, I like the tin, the tin's quite cool. I was originally, I pulled it off the lid, but in actual fact, it's a really cool little clicky tin. You push down and the lid just comes off. Now, I gave this to somebody in my house um, and said, you know, have it, I don't want it, I'm never gonna use it. But like I say, it's made its way back into my collection. So I figured I'd give it a go. So in here, you've got um, little individual baggies, like this, of different flavors that they do. I believe um, MrSnuff.com is giving this away as well at the moment. Um, so anybody that's recently ordered you should have had the opportunity to get yourself a free sample of this stuff as well. So yeah, you've got a eucalyptus one, you've got an original, which somebody's uh, been munching on this a little bit in there. Um, Arctic. Um, I think there was one other in there which apparently somebody enjoyed too much and, uh, and used. Yeah, so um, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm not going to open the YouTube because I'm just going to go for the original. So, these are kind of individually portioned. And if you open up one of these little baggies. Oh, it's not open properly. Inside, you'll find... Inside, there are these little, like, oops, daisy pellets. They look like rabbit poo, if you ask me. Which I guess is, well, it's tobacco. Now with this stuff, you stick it up here. They did have a little leaflet, I can't find it. I did have a little leaflet with it. it tells you how to use it. Um, and there doesn't appear to be any reviews on YouTube about these stuff. Well, I found one, um, but yeah. So this stuff you stick up here in your gum, or in your lower gum, whichever. And, uh, oh, it smells kind of like treacle or molasses. So you keep it up here anyway, in your mouth. And uh, it says in the instructions, if I read it correctly, if I remember rightly, that you can chew it like chewing gum um, to release flavors and so forth. So I'm picking my nose. So anyway, but, um, I'll give it a go. I believe this you meant to spit, which is nice. So, <laughs> I just picked up a little plastic cup to uh, spit into. So, let's have a go. Spit that there. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do now, other than sit here and talk. Can't really taste anything. A moment. Oh yeah, and the lid. Ah, it's quite cool. Um, if you pop it back on, like so, you just pinch the sides. Ah. It clicks back into place. It's quite cool. 
So I'm gonna leave this in for a bit, and I'll uh, I'll come back to you, maybe, because it's. Mm. I don't know. Currently, I'm not getting nothing. Maybe anything but you. And even my saliva doesn't taste different. Or look different, it's still saliva. Mm. Okay, let's bring that down. Let's bring it down. Get out of here. Now I can taste that. Mm. And put that back up there. Okay. That's nasty. Um. Oh, I can taste that now. It. There's a sweetness to it. Um. Which I guess is like the molasses. In it. Um, but it kind of, it kind of almost burns like a peppery sort of. Sort of taste to it. Like, it's not too dissimilar to um, nicotine replacement gums. That's kind of how it makes your mouth feel in your throat. Um, It's not, I mean, it's not too bad, it's not disgust. well, it's kind of disgusting, I'm constantly, I'm spitting into a fucking, into a cup, see, I'm not going to show you because it's vile, look at the colour of it, it's really disgusting, you can see why they use mud jugs, um, it's not too, um, the, the flavour is not too bad, um, this is the original one, as I said, um, I don't even know if I'm doing this right. So, um, yeah. I don't really know what else to say about this stuff. I don't think this is going to be something that I'm going to want to buy, actually. I don't think I like it. It's, um, my mouth feels like shit, to be honest. It really feels like shit. It's absolutely, it feels disgusting. I want to freshen my mouth, I want to drink something, but I worry about drinking something because you're not meant to swallow the juice from the tobacco. Which, my, I mean, my saliva at the moment is just going mental. I mean, these are little bits, just little tiny pellets. And, you know, you look at these guys in America, these redneck kind of country folk that use chew to about chew all the time and dip and all that. And I've seen a few dip videos with Copenhagen and all that sort of stuff. And they're putting big chunks of that stuff in their mouth. And it's, you know, you can see a big bulge of it in the chin. In it down here, I don't, I don't know if I've, Wrong, I have, you know, a big chunk of something in my mouth because it makes me sound like I'm a retard. <laughs> no offense, chewers out there and dippers. Um, I don't know, do I just leave it there now and just have a chew on it every now and then, or, or what? I don't really know. It's, I don't know, even about the nicotine here, I don't really know about. I can't really say there is one, really. But again, is this because I'm a, a you know, a newly ex-smoker? Am I still just too used to having large quantities of nicotine flying around my bloodstream? I don't know. I would have thought by now it's been a couple of, um, what was it? What day is it now? Saturday. Two weeks on Monday. This coming Monday, um, I would have been smoke-free. So I don't, I don't really know. Is it because? that or maybe it's because this is uh, quite a small quantity and, and again the same is true with with snuff I don't really often um, get much of a 
nicotine hit off that, really. Um, I'm not going to chew. Uh, it seems like my swallow is only really effective when I'm chewing it. If I'm not chewing it and I haven't chewed it for a while and I've just got it stuck in my jaw, then my saliva is fine. So I assume that that's perfectly safe for me to swallow. But when I chew it, I'll show you. It's not right, that watch. That is vile. How disgusting is that? And I'm so sorry, you know, as much as I love y'all, I want to be honest with you about this. Um, it's not completely unpleasant <laughs> if I'm completely honest it's not completely unpleasant it's not something that I think I would make a habit of I might try it again at some point um, I might actually get some proper chewed tobacco what I consider to be chewed tobacco that's not you know this is just little tiny baby pellets this is only like child portions I would thought I don't really know not that children should be smoking or chewing tobacco but I don't know, it's not, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way. Well, not even go out of my way, I would, if I was in the shop and I seen this stuff, I wouldn't buy it. My mouth really does feel horrendous now. It feels like, if, you, if you've had Nicorette chewing gum, then you know what, I'm, what I mean. I can't put it into words, it's how my mouth feels at the moment. It feels like, it feels like someone's emptied an ashtray into my mouth or a load of you know, dog ends, cigarette ends, cigarette butts, and I've just chewed on them for a bit. And I think that it's not nice. Really not nice. My saliva level's gone up. I'm producing a lot more saliva in my mouth. I'm pretty certain I don't produce it as much normally. And it's not a lot. It's not like I've got half a cup on nothing, only a little bit. But I suppose I don't normally pay attention to um, how much I swallow or whatnot. I don't like it. No, I really don't like it. I mean, it's not, I keep saying it, it's not unpleasant, but I don't actually like it. I don't think I want to do this again. I don't feel bad. I don't feel rough. I haven't got shakes or, you know, a massive nicotine buzz going on or nothing. Um, I feel perfectly fine on myself. I just don't like how my mouth feels right now. My mouth does not feel nice at all. I mean, it's like, it's just nasty. I don't like it. I don't like how my mouth feels. Maybe that's something that you get used to. Maybe... I don't know, I don't know if it's always like that or if it's just because I've never done it before. But on the whole, don't get with it. It's been a good ten minutes. There it is. On the whole, it um it's not been really great. So yeah. I'm just Oh look at that. A few <laughs> Not a bit of a mingo, aren't I really? Look at that. That's the actual leaf. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, it's just a leaf. Oh. Oh, it's two leaves. Bits, two bits of leaf. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's what I've been chewing. That's what it comes down to. Two bits of leaf. Like that. Yeah. Two danglers. Slightly moist where I've been chewing them. But that's it. Nothing fancy. It's just tobacco leaf rolled up into little pellets. Which are now going in there. Um, incidentally, if you want to see, I'm sorry, this is vile, but I'm going to show you. That's how much I've spat in the time that I've been chewing it. Not a, not a great deal, I suppose, but stinks and look at the colour of it it's just nasty anyway that's my that's my opinion I don't not something that I would want to go I wouldn't buy I wouldn't buy this and 
Um, I'm probably just going to dispose of this, the rest of this tin in the bin. Um, I like the tin. The tin would actually be kind of cool as a snuff tin, but there's no seal on it. If you see inside the lid there, there's actually not a seal in there. So it wouldn't keep it fresh for long. And I fear it would probably come out when the lid was on out of these slits in the side. But the tin's kind of funky. I like, I like the kick pins. Oops. Yeah, they're kind of funky. But I, I, I yeah, as I say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this again. I wouldn't buy it. Not at all. It's not for me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you to it and crack on and uh, drink some coffee. Now, this is my last video for the weekend. So, enjoy what's remaining of your weekends and I will see you sometime this week. Love y'all. Take care now. Bye.